questions? Now, if we are okay with this, then the rest is math. I'm not going to show you, although I already I plan to, but maybe uh, I, uh, but it actually take a lot of uh, calculation. But just this area, right? we already have the uh, equation. If you say your ball somehow just say, you need to use N stages to drive the CL. Then the optimal delay is just like what I told you, N times TPCO times one plus this one. Again, remember, this is just the small f because we need them to have the same fan out in each stage. Okay, so with this one, what is the optimal number of stage uh, in this case? Right, so, so that is uh, what we want to ask. So, so first of all, uh, did I miss something? Yeah, so, so here, what is the, when there's no uh, intrinsic, let, let me talk, talk about this. When there's no intrinsic loading, it means gamma equals zero. Why? Because remember CD equal to gamma CG, right? So if there's no loading, let's say you are very tight, right? Then gamma equal to zero when there's no intrinsic loading. You want to find an F that uh, give you the uh, exponential, uh, uh, F equal to exponential, right? So this related to the optimal number of states. Remember, this is the given end stage, but let's say no one tell you what to do. Their boss did not say that you need to do 10 stages. Then what is the optimal number of stage? You are going to do this, right? Partial TP zero, partial N equals zero. That is how, how you want to do. Right? So if you try to do this one, you solve the equation, you get a fairly complicated thing. You can see the test book for the results, right? Or you, if you don't see it, it doesn't matter. The solution is the result is that for one, if we find we think about the uh, case that the intrinsic low can be ignored, then you want the fan out equal to E. And then from here, you can find the optimal number of stage because then it means after N stages, you want to get CL equal to CG1, right? And then you can find, then it means E to the power N equal to CL divided by CG1. Then you can find N right, equal to natural knot of CL divided by CG1. That is the optimal number of stage. Right? So it means this is something what we call horn, inverter horn. It get larger and larger exponentially, and this gives you the minimum delay. Like, is this okay? Any questions? Now, there's another case. What if gamma equal to one? This is another case that you just think that the intrinsic loading uh, is the same as your gate capacitance. Then we found that the best is to have fan out equal to 3.4, 3.6. 3.6 is difficult to do. Usually we say fan out equal to four. Let's look at the delay here. You see that although 3.6 is the optimal, right? But four, they are very similar. Right, so the, for the easy to design, we usually we say we pick fan out of four, right? So if some of you already done some design before, uh, they ask you to characterize the delay of an inverter, the delay of a LAN gate. Very often they say, what is the delay when you have fan out equal to four? F O four. Have you heard about this? Because you cannot just say how fast you are without loading because every uh, gate has to drive something.
So what load they should I use? I cannot use a very huge load or small load. They use fan out of four. That is because usually if you try to optimize the whole circuit, you want to have this ratio to have the minimum delay. So what I care the most is when the delay has a fan out equal to four. Right? And that is here I try to set so that usually overall delay is minimum with fan out of four, right? Why? Because it's proof here, 3.6. Right, so in summary, just two messages here. Uh, the first, uh, actually three messages. The first is that we already showed in the last slide, to drive a loading, if I ask you to use end stages, you the minimum delay is this. And then you find out what is the fan out, which is square at f to the power one over n. Now, if you are not limited to the number of to n, right? You can use this equation to find out what it is. But you can don't worry. The point is, if we two cases, if there's no intrinsic loading, it's just an exponential horn, which we will see in the old textbook. They call it exponential horn. That is the fastest. But more realistic is with intrinsic loading, with gamma equal to one, then it's 3.6. And you can even forget about this number. I mean, except in the, uh, actually it depends on you, if uh, in the uh, assignment, right? You use four is also okay. But four is more important because you really use in the uh, industry uh, as the initial guess, right? So if you create a new gate, function gate, you want to tell people what is the delay with fan out of four. You cannot just say any loading, okay? Any questions? Now, if no, then let's look at some example, right? So for example, uh, I, I want to look at, uh, I want to drive, this is the total fan out. So this is C low divided by CG1, okay? If I don't do any buffer, for example, I'm, I have a very huge, very huge loading, right? So what is the delay? Well, TP0 times what? One plus F divided by gamma, remember? And what is F in this case? Can someone tell me what is F in this case? When I'm trying to, tr what is F in this case? This is night one stage. If just saying that I have this inverter and then I drive in the load, CL, CG1. What is F in this case? Square root of 10,000. Square root of 10,000. How many stage do we have? When you say square root, it means capital N equal to two, right? But how many stage do we have for this unbuffer case? I think only one, I think. Only one. So what should it be? Uh, so it is like 10,000. Very good. Very good, right? 10,000 to the power one over one divided by gamma, which is one, right? That's why I get this number, one zero 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 one, right? So if you don't have any buffer, you try to drive this guy, your delay is 10,000 times the intrinsic, the technology minimum delay. Right? If I have two stage, then it's talking about this. CG1 here, and then make a larger device, CG2, and then this one drive the big load, right? So what is the delay here? Well, it has TP0, the first stage, plus the fan out divided by gamma, and then TP0, times the second fan out divided by gamma, right? And this time, what is F? That is what the other student, the, the student just said, right? It is square root of 10,000. Okay, so it is 100. So as a result, the delay is just equal to TP0 times one plus 100 divided by one plus, and then the whole thing times two. That because you have two, I don't want to write it. And that's how you get 
202, right? Here is two stages. And if you have the optimal M, N, you get delayed 33. So by doing this inverter chain, right? This looks very strange. Wow, why I insert more people in between me and the load? I actually get more efficient. I can deliver the message faster. If I don't have it, it is 10,000 with it 33. That is how many times? Uh, 300 times faster, right? By putting an end stage inverter chain. And why is that? Because just compare the first stage and second stage. You see the first stage is very slow because F is very large. And why F is large, it means you have a very heavy loading. I'm so weak, I'm just a bicycle. You ask me to push an elephant. I cannot do that. It takes me very long time. So if I use two stage, I, although I have two delay, but this time the, my bicycle is trying to push maybe a truck and then the truck push the elephant. Although I have extra delay due to this two step, but pushing the truck is easier, square root 10,000. And then all together, I only have 200 delay. Right? So that is the idea of this uh, inverter train. Any questions? Now we're going to do something even more complicated, right? Where we bring teasing. What is the optimal delay of this inverter train? Well, originally we can get it, but then now the problem is somehow it has more fan out than what we had this in the simple case, right? And now we assume the gamma equal to one, right? So, so what should we do? We need to go to the basic, right? First, we find what is the total fan out. By definition, is CL divided by CG1. This is CG1, okay? This guy is CG2. This guy is CG3. Now, the problem is I have four of them. I have four CG2. I have four CG3. Okay, and finally, I have CL. But it told me that CL equal to 40, 64 CG1, okay? So this is equal to 64. Because CL divided by CG1 is 64, right? I cannot use any equation. The only thing I can use is that I know F1 has to equal to F2 equal to F3, okay? Can someone tell me what is F1 in this case? By definition, I am the driver, right? What do I see? What is F1? Square root of uh, CG2 divided by CG1. What do you say square root? Uh, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this, I think uh, the nth root of uh, CG2 divided by CG1. You say CG2 nth root? No. Uh, Let's go back. What is fan out? What is fan out? Let, let's look at this again. What is the definition of fan out? For example, what is F1 here? Is the loading C by the F first inverter divided by its gate capacitor, right? So CG2 divided by CG1, right? But now what is the loading for the first stage? What is the loading? What does it see as output? You need to drive. What? it has to drive. CL? No, for this one, for this inverter. CG2. CG2. Only CG2? Four CG2. Four CG2. I have four elephant I don't need to push. Four CG2 divided by CG1. Okay, how about F2? What is F2? The fan out of the in second inverter. It means- Three by CG2. Uh, say, say again. CG3 divided by CG2. But how many CG3 does it see? How many four. elephants? Yeah. Yes. Four. Again, four. four. Yeah, this, is a, this is tricky, right? So we need to remember that we are driving 
I cannot just increase the voltage of this inverter without increasing others. Unfortunately, because the designer connect me to all of them. So if this one go up, all of them has to go up. So I'm seeing four of them. How? But for myself, I'm still just CG2. I'm not for CG2 because I'm the only guy driving the rest. These three people are taking a rest. They don't help me. They are not helping me to drive it. Okay. So where are they being outputted? Are those being outputted to nothing? This can go to other circuit. Your circuit is very complicated. We are not just trying to drive this C, C low, right? This can be a very, although we call it inverter, actually this may be LAN gate or something, but we just uh, use inverter to make it simple. You might doing some very complicated computation. You have other bits, but I'm only interested in the delay from here to here. Maybe this is the so-called critical path. Is that okay? In this graph, yeah, they go to nothing. But in reality, they go to other, maybe another adder or something. Okay. How about CF3? What is F3? The fan out of the first stage. CL over CG3. CL over CG3. Very good, right? This time, CL is only one CL, and myself is myself, right? You are saying the weight of my weight. Oh, my weight is this one, not four. Okay, so um, then you can just solve, right? Because you, uh, you, you, here you actually has two equations, right? Then you just solve it. I don't want to solve it here, right? But basically what you get is, uh, if you find that you want to have CG2, equal to 16 to, to the power one first CG1, CG3 equal to uh, 16 to the two first CG1. And then of course CL is already, already given, it is uh, 64. Okay, and if you plug in, you do see that they have the same fan out, right? So here is that to test your understanding, right? We although we de derive this equation, but this equation is just for, a uh, single inverter, but if I give you something new, you need to go back, step back, or oh, you just remember this is the fan out. The fan out equation is important, right? This is called branching. Later, we are going to learn another equation. We'll take this one, you don't have to think it this way, and that will be very useful for complicated logic. Lane gate, nor gate, and other gate, not just inverter. Any questions? Now try to solve the equation. If you run into difficulty, let me know. I, uh, I, I can tell you how to solve it. It's a little bit confusing, but the point is that you have four variable, right? One, CG1, two, three, and CL, CL, but you already have CL to CG1, so it's one equation. Here you have two equation, right? F1, you have F2, and F1, you have F3. So you eliminate free variable. I mean, yeah. So you can solve each of them in terms of CG1. Okay.